But where it, where it gets sticky is that uh, once those guys start going down, um, guys with a lot of capital are going to be buying up those properties that are on the fire sale. And then it's going to be harder for some of these other – because if rates are still moderately high, it's going to be harder. It, it'll call – what happens is the domino effect where – these banks get in trouble and then they are, they're like, fuck, we, our commercial site's completely wrecked. We have to find liquidity. So we're going to start calling loans on the multifamily side. Cause you can't call like on a fourplex or on a single family person. So you, you just can't do it. You politically you couldn't do it, but on a large, like a guy with a $15 million loan or something like that, like hey or whatever, like, Hey, give us money or pay us back or lines of credits are done. And that's where it gets hella dangerous, basically. Mm-hmm. So that, I think that's more or less what's going to start happening in 26 is like that bubble right there. So um, let's enjoy the decline. So what you're saying is get rich in crypto 2025, wait for a real estate crash in 2026, buy the bottom of both real estate and Bitcoin at the end of 26, beginning of 27, and then you're good into the 2030s. Sounds like a good recipe. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, okay, let's see. If you don't secure Indian consumers for the next two decades as a Fortune 100 company, you're going to be poor. Doesn't mean that. Yeah. I mean, well, you, but it's, it's like. A you, people. That's a, you know, it's, a, it's, it's a, a lot. Of, it's a lot of people in the world. Yeah. The thing is, the customer base isn't there just yet, but it's going to be, like, I would say, it starts becoming very, very good in the next uh, five years from now. It starts mm-hmm. becoming, they're making the investments now to make the, the population investable. And I'm saying they're not investable and stuff. And what I'm saying is like where incomes go up because a lot of people in India are in poverty hmm. and they did not do as well as China did in the same time frame. Right. And it's much more of a closed circuit economy where like um, it's, you know, it, because it didn't have the same, rest- it, it's, it's open economy. You can invest in there, money can be sold. You know, you can sell the ruble or stuff or anything you want, but like, or whatever the local currency is there. But, um, it, you know, the, that caste system is a bitch. 